the JAMA Network. Almost 7 million people worldwide are infected with both HIV and hepatitis C. Hepatitis C infects the liver and causes slowly progressive scarring. Now, HIV accelerates that scarring. Damage from this scarring can cause liver failure, liver cancer, cirrhosis, and even death in HIV patients. They're not going to die of their HIV. They're going to die of their hepatitis C. Until recently, treating hepatitis C has included interferon injections. However, interferon has been linked to a number of serious side effects, and many HIV patients are not eligible for that therapy. Dr. Mark Solkowski from Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine and co-authors treated 211 patients with both HIV and hepatitis C infections. They were split between patients with the most common strain of hepatitis C, which is called genotype 1. The other patients had genotypes 2 and 3. Those are less common. The patients were all doing very well from a standpoint of HIV. They were either on antiretroviral therapy or not at risk to have any complications of that disease. All of the patients received a combination of the interferon-free medications sovaspivir and ribavirin orally over a period of 12 or 24 weeks. For patients with the most common strain, genotype 1, treated for 24 weeks, we achieved a cure in 76% of that patient population. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. More patients with genotype 2 and 3 achieved a cure. Those strains are a little bit easier to treat than genotype 1. For a patient to be considered cured, hepatitis C was no longer detected in the blood 12 weeks after the last dose of medication. Interferon-free therapies appear to work just as well in this patient population as they do in patients with hepatitis C alone. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.